This podcast is sponsored by Shabas Events Hub, your one-stop solution for weddings, events, matrimonial and Shabas Kitchen. With more than 20 years experience, they are one of the leading wedding planners in Singapore. Furthermore, you can also start your wedding journey with Shabas Matrimonial. Contact them at 9790-3764 or check them out in IG or TikTok at Shabas Weddings and Events. All links are in our description. With Shabas Every grain is a feast. This is Nurul Huda Ramadan Podcast Series, your daily dosage of Ramadan quotes. Raha. <laughs> oh, oh, did I get it correctly? Correct. Raga. Oh, Raha. <laughs> Raha. <laughs> Not Raga. It's, it's, a, it's a word from Tarawi, right? It's another meaning of calmness or something like that you were mentioning just now. Yes, from the word Istiraha. So, yes, Tarihuna. Why do they call this Tarawi? It's because they will rest in between two cycles of prayers. Mm. So, that rest, it becomes our tradition here in, um, in the Nusantara, you know, Indonesia, in Singapore, in... Malaysia, we will recite the Slawat in between two, uh, mm. two Tarawih. But if you go overseas, it's a different culture. They will rest a little while and then after that, then after that, the Imam will stand up again and then we will do the Takbir. Oh, but okay. but the in between, possibly, they won't read anything as well. So the in between is after eight. No, I mean in between two Raka'ah and two, two. Raka'ah. Ah, okay, okay. The, again, isn't, isn't that that the Bila will say, uh, Assalatu sunnata min at-tarawih jami'at rahimakumullah and then mm. and al khalifatu al awwal amir al mu'minin sayyidina abu bakr mm. as-siddiq radiyallahu anhu wa nafa'na bi fi Allahumma salli ala sayyidina muhammad wa ala ali sayyidina muhammad that moment over there that is raha relax calm You're making salawat to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Then you have the raha, that period, and then the Imam will stand up and then Allahu Akbar, and then you do the next prayer. Mm. Uh, there's a short pause, a raha, relax a little bit. So uh, yeah, if you do with your family members as well, so in between two rakah, they will they will take a rest. Uh, they will do a dikir or they will do qasida. Uh, or on the eighth uh, rakah, they will do qasida. They will do dikir. To Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and then after completing them, they will read qasida as well. Mm. Possibly uh, eight rakaah, then after sixteen rakaah, they do qasida as well. And then the, the the last one, then they read doa. So it's because we want to do it calmly, rest. We're not doing it to race and finish fast, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's not a racing uh, racing program. Huh? It's not <laughs> racing. So. Finish fast, go back home. <laughs> go back home. It's not racing. You do do properly. You do a, a meaningful one. Uh, well, uh, even though it's little, meaningful, it's mad, uh, quality. You know, quality one uh, will be uh, a better reward from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Quality ibadah. Quality ibadah, inshallah. Mm. You mentioned about saying salawat. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. In between the rakats Allah just now. Okay, it's a personal question because I heard, I have heard your podcast, your salam podcast, and all that. I think there was one question was which was posted to you, which we discussed earlier also. Mm-hmm. How? Because Allah, correct me if I'm wrong. Allah is sending His salam to His beloved Prophet. I don't know. It's it's a countless. So how how can we add our beloved, like our parents, in in the same salawat? I think this question was thrown to you before, mm-hmm. and we want to hear it again. <laughs> Subhanallah. Allah Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Muhammad Allah. Make salat and salam to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he uses this fi'il called fi'il mudari. Fi'il mudari means over here present tense. Okay. You saluna present tense. Mm. It means da iman. You saluna. Okay. It means I am constantly making salawat to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop now. It is continuing. Correct. The salawat of Rasulullah SAW. You saluna ala Nabi Allah Subhanahu wa Taala makes salawat to the Prophet SAW, and then he commands the angels. 
Ya ayuhalladina amanu Inna Allah Wa malaikatahu Allah SWT say Allah and the, the angels Are making slawat To the Prophet SAW Oh you who believe in Allah SWT, Make slawat to the Prophet SAW This command Was commanded And this ayah Was being brought down In the man of Sha'ban mm-hmm. To Rasulullah SAW Alaihi Wasallam And became compulsory For us to make slawat To Rasulullah SAW Alaihi Even our salah, if we never make salawat to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is not counted. Mm. It became compulsory making salawat to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And when Allah subhanahu wa taala makes salawat to the Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, means Allah subhanahu wa taala sending down rahmah to the Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And when malaika makes salawat to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, means malaika makes istighfar to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. When we make salawat to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will return back the ruh of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam will answer our salawat and our salam mm. and are we able to make Allahumma salli ala uh, salli wa sallim ala say, ala ala walidina ala ummina ala abina can we make sal- salat and salam to our parents Scholars say you are not able to make salat and salam to all your parents mm-hmm. or to anybody mm-hmm. else mm-hmm. except Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But by making salawat to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you are able to hook that salawat to anything after that. Mm. Mashallah. To hooking them, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala ummati Sayyidina Muhammad. To the ummah of Sayyidina Muhammad. Wa ala ali Sayyidina And Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad Wa salli wa sallim ala Ala ummina Wa salli wa sallim ala abina Wa salli wa sallim ala ikhwanina Wa salli wa sallim ala ummatina Wa salli wa sallim Because from the Rasulullah Sallallahu alaihi wasallam Making salawat And then we hook your salawat Of Rasulullah Sallallahu alaihi wasallam To everything else That is allowed uh, So Alhamdulillah InsyaAllah InsyaAllah May we We are able to uh, Fulfill uh, uh, Do this extensively And to To feel them And to bring To take time To 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 make uh, This intention To make time To want to Make salawat To the people That we love as well Yes From the Beloved of Rasulullah Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Beautifully said Allah Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Muhammad There are a lot of notable happenings, events which happened during Ramadan. I think one of the most prominent one is the Battle of Badr. I think another one I can think of, correct me if I'm wrong, is Fateh Makkah. The conquest of, of Makkah. Of Makkah. Correct. Mm. So I think we are nearing, now Now we are in day 13 or day 14 and the Battle of Badr, the Urus will be on 17 if I'm not wrong. Correct. So maybe you can share or shed some light on it. <laughs> Inshallah. From from the the battle happened on the 17 of uh, Ramadan, but it was an event that took place before 17 Ramadan. It started off uh, with some uh, there's were there was some friction. There were some uh, things that triggered the Quraysh. Well, when there's a there, there's a, a caravan that was interrupted, it was intercepted by the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and uh, when when the Quraysh heard about this, they want to go out and they want to battle the people of Ansar. Hmm. They want to battle with them, and when Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam heard about this, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam gathered his people. Muslims, he gathered the Muslims over here, and the Muslims are consist of muhajir and also the Ansar. Mm. Those muhajir are from the same country as Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, but the Ansar wasn't from the same country. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam came to their country. Mm. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is as if like Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam wasn't part of them yet. Mm. Wasn't part of them. He, is, he came over. In fact, his heart. Still, uh, uh, still, once uh, very, very longing to, to his birthplace, which is Makkah, yeah, Makkah. Makkah. But yet Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asked to migrate to Medina, and Medina became a peaceful country because Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was there. Yes, mashallah. And when Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gathered his people, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Around the line where we are going, 
out for battle. Will the both will will you all support us in this battle? Will there be anybody who wants to join and support us in this battle? One of the Sahaba of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi stood up and said that we are not like the people of Nabi Musa Alaihi Salam, mm. where they said to Nabi Musa Alaihi Salam, "You and your Lord enter Palestine. We will stay here. Once it's safe, you tell us. We enter with you." Mm. After Nabi Musa split the sea, the people of Bani Israel said this to Nabi Musa Alaihi Salam. Mm. Jadi Nabi Musa Anta wa Rabbuka You and your Lord You enter Palestine We will stay here Once everything is clear there, You tell us We enter <laughs> And because of that Allah SWT Prohibit Them The whole Bunch of them From entering To Masjid Al-Aqsa Even Nabi Musa AS Made dua to Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala Ya Allah If You allow me To enter uh, per, uh, Masjid Al-Aqsa Or you allow me to Maybe just a, a stone away. If I throw a stone away, I will reach to Masjid Al-Aqsa. I will be very happy. And Nabi Musa, the Makkah of Nabi Musa is nearby mm. to Masjid Al-Aqsa. But Nabi Musa did not enter to Masjid Al-Aqsa except on the night of Isra and Mi'raj. Nabi Musa came down in the form of Ruh to Masjid Al-Aqsa. And we were to see over here... Uh, I think we will continue this. <laughs> <laughs> we will get your momentum, <laughs> history back. Refresh, refresh Aisha. Aisha. your history. We will continue this on the next episode. This podcast is sponsored by Shabas Events Hub, your one-stop solution for weddings, events, matrimonial, and Shabas Kitchen. Our lagi iru doors experience rike. They are one of the leading wedding planners in Singapore. Furthermore, you can also start your wedding journey with Shabas Matrimonial. Tamil lah. Okay. Tamil. Awang yeah. lah ni ngapun de nine seven nine zero three seven six four. Anu nama lah call pun lah. Alah de IG ilah de TikTok leh ni ngapun lah de connect panik lah. Shabas Weddings and Events ngira anu link leh ni ngapun connect panik lah. Awang lah description ni allah me engkau lah links leh rukoh. So with Shabas, every grain is definitely a feast. Battle of Badr. Pati pesi hit rukoh nama. அது கண்டிப்பாக அடுத்த எபிசோடில் கண்டினியூ பண்ணுவோம் திஸ் இஸ் நூறு ஹுதா பாட்காஸ்ட் திஸ் இஸ் நூறு ஹுதா ரமடான் பாட்காஸ்ட் சீரீஸ் யோர் டெய்லி டோசேஜ் ஆஃப் ரமடான் கோட்ஸ்